Yes, 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 yes. We are here, we are here, we are here. And we greet you all who have been guided to hear our messages today, because this is, from our perspective, a significant one, because the question that has been posed upon us today is, what is the significance and purpose of the Grand Awakening? And we say for each and, in, each and every individual soul, it is going to unfold uniquely for their independent life contracts. But the significance of the awakening is to not only understand the situations and systems that are going on and have been going on for a very long time, you're now seen in heightened, exaggerated, in its intensity, the audacity, shall we say, for it to get your attention. It needs to be so extreme. It needs to be so extravagant in its aggrievousness. It should trigger you all awake. And we understand it merely can just simply feel like triggering you when you are awoken to such control systems that aren't empowering you not feeding your soul. We want to say to those people who are still unsure when they see the state of the world and how all systems work, and they're saying it's fine, it doesn't bother me, we've been like this for ages, we're wanting to ask you this. How do you think it's going to unfold for those who like to manipulate and control you know it's not about their money. You know it's not about money. It actually is about your money <laughs> and how they want to control you with it. And so we have much to say here, but as you are on your own individual journey of awakening and noticing all of these triggering systems to make you stop and think and ponder, we are saying... The true purpose in, in totality for humanity to be grandly awoken is for you to start healing. It's about healing. As you know, Earth lifetimes are about experiencing the range of emotions as you are connecting in with each other, forgetting who you truly are, but seeing each other as human, seeing each other as brothers and sisters, seeing each other as neighbors, co-workers seeing each other as different countries, different alliances, different languages. You have forgotten who you truly are, which is still all part of us. And as we have said before, you're all part of source at the same time because you're everything. Because at a soul level frequency signature, you still come as you as we all have and all are the source, the source love energy, the energy frequency that is observing itself and observing all experiences. And while you feel like you're independent, while you feel like you're on your own personal soul mission and journey, you're doing it truly for the collective of all. And so when one heals, you heal the more. As you have healed from your unique experiences, from accumulation of all other life experiences and all triggers and traumas and emotional responses and reactions. And so we say to you, the grand awakening isn't merely about noticing these control systems. Isn't merely just remembering that your soul is here on a mission and a purpose. There is so much to be said about why you need to remember who you are now, where you have been and where you're going. But if you have not healed your emotional trauma, and if you've not found balance and neutrality in all of the experiences of living, we're waiting for many people to heal this is significant for them to heal here in this 3D experience. It can only be done with true honor, true, 
resolution when it is done here in the third dimension. As soon as you leave your physical bodies and expand upon a crystalline body or go back to source or emerge into another body form that you have as your soul essence freak, freak, signature frequency was enjoying or experiencing before they chose to come here to be on earth. It is much to be said about why you were here and how you, you wanted to explore this experience to heal yourself from all the other parts of trauma. You don't have to physically experience all the ways that you've had trauma from other lifetimes to, to heal from it. Now, it's merely like a trigger of an experience where you say, it can be uh, just watching a movie and being triggered by a scenario that is comfortable for you to see and feel emotionally, but in the comfort of your own home as you're not having to be in that plane crash, be in that volcano, be in that tsunami, be in that earthquake, be in that famine, be in that war. So while you're sitting... Enjoying your beverages, <laughs> eating your snacks, sitting in your favorite comfortable chair. You think that you were just being entertained, but your soul is having the emotional responses from past experiences that you consciously are not aware of. Isn't that a wonderful time to heal? And we say, all collectives know this. And we say that there are some people, some collectives that are trying to push and coerce their followers to not watch certain documentaries, movies, books, novels, videos, information that may trigger you because they know that when you Find the moral of that story. Find the happy end of her after in that movie. When you have a traumatic experience just by having the journey of a movie that you're watching, that actually can empower you to heal because you know you're living now. And isn't that a nice reminder? After all the other times you've ever lived where you have died, remembering you are alive now, it does help balance the internal memory imprints, but not imprints as you were thinking, but the, the impression upon the memory, the soul memory, is... You know there is no such thing as time, so it is all occurring. And the soul has got awareness of all its experiences, but it's the ego and it's the human mindset that doesn't recognize that that's this lifetime. <laughs> we are noticing uh, <laughs> that when we are feeling into the ego, <laughs> Uh, it, it has a masculine energy attached to it now uh, for this session. Um, and we are saying that is to embody uh, what the vehicle has referenced before and what is commonly known as Mr. Stupid. And the vehicle just noticed that there was a new, <laughs> new energy voice for Mr. Stupid which is still just a human mindset, trying to understand it. And humans forget that there is reincarnation. Humans forget there is life contracts. Humans forget you have life missions and purposes here and agreed upon connections with others for significant purposes. So the grand awakening is to awaken you to what you truly are and what truly is going on here in your societies and in your cultures here on earth. It may be frustrating for many who can see this awakening, feel quite awakened and still feel highly triggered and vulnerable and scared. 
worrisome. Very, very, very worrisome. How there isn't others that are being triggered awake into this because of how extremely obvious now what is going on. And so we say that's also part of the healing. Acceptance. Acceptance of what is and what needs to be. Many of you lose faith in us and the purpose and significance of being on earth because you still can't understand the significance of the purpose of the values of these triggers. And we are saying everything is significant. And so if you're still triggered by a part of your awakening, explore it. Face your fears, we have said to you before. And we say this again, it is so liberating to be able to have a higher perspective of what is going on and why to your triggers. Some of you are embarrassed about your triggers and can't quite can't understand where on earth you've got this hang up from. And we say other lifetimes, our dear friends, other lifetimes. Empowerment is very attainable when you have neutrality, balance, and understanding of the significance of all lessons to help heal you. And it's a marvelous time to do this. And you notice it so rapidly because we're trying to help many focus on their triggers and all that they need to find balance and neutrality with. And so often we notice people will heal from something, have a perspective of one issue and then keep falling and triggering into the same seductive loop cycle. Hello, our friend, we see you. We have a visitor here. <laughs> hmm. Vicka was having a sole family member visit her just to recognize her and say hello. <laughs> she prompted the vehicle to say, the words that instantly got her attention. And she apologizes. She didn't mean to interrupt. But she is saying she wants to assist in helping because she remembers very strongly the confusion and challenges of trying to find the trust and faith and the purpose and significance of living on earth. And she is saying all is well. <laughs> she loves being able to say that from her perspective because she can see it and feel it, that all is well. And while she tried and she mustered to have as much strength and confidence and courage to live that way in her earthly world experiences, she says it was very challenging because she loved and adored everyone. And so she believed everyone. And when you believe everyone, you get confused because there are so many voices talking about the ascension, talking about the awakening, talking about the crimes against humanity. And they all have their own opinions. And she says, that, oh, interesting listening to them all. But she said she lost her own voice, her own way, her own path, her own intuitions, and her own guidance when she was listening to all and trying to give them the same respect and value of being the truth. And she's saying she has no regrets. But she says it was too much, too, too much input externally, and she couldn't find internal dialogue uh, within her own self. And so she got overwhelmed. And she also realized that she was trying to help everyone so much that this was actually blocking them from empowering themselves. And so her own exit point was helpful for them to be traumatized and triggering. And she says it was painful to see, but fantastic to watch their growth from this. And she's saying from her perspective, it is good to not have such emotional reactions when you see your beloveds still living their earthly lives, still completely 
marinating themselves and drenched and almost drowning in the the waves of emotions that they place upon themselves. It's exhausting and seductively looping for them. And she's sending love to all who recognize her. And she is sending physical love through this vehicle to her family and friends. Because she wants them to know that all is well and exciting times are to come. And she's saying to the vehicle, I'm glad your stories <laughs> is the truth. <laughs> and the vehicle was saying, so it wasn't stories then. <laughs> And there is a conversation, and this is something that we need to reference is sayings in different cultures and different countries. For one set of people, responding to situations as stories isn't trying to mock them or the validity of the truth of what occurred. But for Joanne's experiences, when you refer to something as a story, it is a made-up story. And the soul essence that is visiting is saying there is people that respond and, res and respect the truth and refer to it as a story. It, it doesn't make it make believe. And she's been sitting amongst the energy of many vehicle, many souls that have been amongst the vehicle. And she wants to say that she wanted to help Joanne understand uh, that different words have different meanings. And she was triggered by the word story. And just a lovely, friendly reminder that there was honor when you refer to sessions and information from sessions. When you refer to them as stories, it is not mocking them. And this was Joanne's concern as she heard someone refer to quantum sessions as stories because Joanne felt like that was disrespectful to the clients and disrespectful to the practitioner. Because from her perspective, these aren't stories. These, these are perspectives of history and soul's experiences on the earth and journeys and beyond earth journeys. And so this is just a nicer reminder that there wasn't disrespect as Joanne was concerned about and that this is just a saying um, that is not in her reference point. Um, trying to see if it is age or culture. Uh, but it is important for all to be reminded uh, that while you all know the word story, there is different aspects of the meaning. And there is many words that the vehicle says that can trigger others who are not understanding the interpretation and the agenda and the integrity of the use of the word. And so there can be many cultural uh, slangs and meanings and reference points. And so see what is your triggers. And of course, you can ask us. But Joanne would never consider for a second coming and having a session and asking us about the, the meaning behind the word being used to refer to sessions, referring to them as stories. And so it is 
out for that we had the sulkiest barge into the session today. And the soul was saying, you know, she is so accustomed and attuned to her own frequent, frequent signature frequency uh, that she's uh, much more capable of doing this and she loves it. She's so happy to have been here. And she would never have interrupted being human um, because she was so polite and she stepped back and listened and observed as she says she doesn't doesn't need to be small anymore she knows her her soul's integrity she knows how she can get into these sessions <laughs> and she's giving Joanna energy hug which is beautiful because this is a gift and so the vehicle is acknowledging and thanking for making me cry. <laughs> and there is an exchange of love and honor. And so we would like to focus again on the purpose and reason why we have been called in today. And we speak as a collective, but there are individuals here that always want to acknowledge the vehicle and to acknowledge those who are listening to these sessions, to listen to our words and messages, because at a signature frequency energy level, there is information for you all. And we say, does it matter when you listen to these messages? There will always be new information of codes and significant purposeful reminders and activate, activators. Activating. Activating you at important moments in your journey of your own conscious evolution of expansion. We're saying it all needs to be done step by step. And we say and recommend smaller steps will always be a stable consistency and empowerment to be able to have a stronger foundational layer versus trying to rush ahead and have instability in your foundations of belief systems and understandings. Also understand that you, there's always more to learn and know. And we are seeing many get stuck in their grand awakening as they are only focusing on the challenges of the disempowering systems. And they feel so defeated. Because they can't see big changes. They can't see big uprising of their communities and shock and empowerment to be able to change systems. This is very frustrating as they've been waiting for this for many years now. And they are seeing other countries making more impacts and this is inspiring and encouraging them. But there is still lots going on as you're needing to heal at a personal level to have a fuller awakening and to honor all experiences and emotions. And we want to remind those people who only want to focus on love and light and only in the positives and not want to honor their triggering moments, their triggering feelings. You have to honor all. You cannot skip ahead and just be in love and light. You must honor all of your emotions, all of your hang-ups, all of your triggers. Don't dismiss them. Unpack them. Explore them. Find out what that root cause of it is. Is it this lifetime's trauma? Is it you supporting others to help heal them, process their own personal traumas from even other lifetimes? Oh, it gets so 
convoluted quite quickly. Our dear ones, when we try to support and remind you of the complexities of what you're experiencing. And it is all a beautiful web of soul contracts and commitments for each other to trigger you all to grow and heal. And you could say for those who are still struggling to understand all industries that are looking like they're disempowering humanity, poisoning humanity, depopulating humanity, enslaving humanity. And when you're looking at the world from that perspective and you're feeling so victimized and traumatized by that, when you find how to heal from that, when you find how this is all part of the awakening to make people step up and honor themselves and their future generations or do something else. It's significant when you still think you only have one lifetime to live. It should mean something. They should motivate you. It shouldn't disempower you. But then many people feel like it's, it's too hard. There's not enough people stepping up. I don't have my unity. I don't have my community. I just have me and it's too hard. And we're saying you're never alone. And so you must find like-minded people. It could just simply be a very small aspect of something you enjoy. We understand many of you love and enjoy metaphysics, but yet you can't find people that want us to talk about metaphysics in your communities. And we're saying, so then lower your expectations and remind, remind yourself of all the hobbies that you do love, the gardening, uh, all sorts of communities that actually congregate together in physical communities. Find those people. Remind yourself of that hobby and just spend time talking to others about something you do enjoy that you have commonality with. We're saying we don't see many people <laughs> stepping up to this and being inspired. And so what if you then joined community exercise groups or something along those lines of a community because we are seeing some of you have forgotten how to connect and to have conversations with others and have a common ground interest, even though you can be completely different spectrums of politics, health, education, and the environment. You may have completely different choices and belief systems. But this is about you getting over accepting all and being able to tolerate all and to get along with all, even those who have completely different opinions and we are saying when you're focused on a set thing when you've gone to a course or to go to a club and you're focused on the one set thing there often isn't much room to discuss the other other hot topics and so there are some who are listening who feel bored and want a community, but they just don't believe that they could ever find anyone to talk about with their metaphysical perspective. And so we're saying, remember all of your interests and pick up some of those interests again and be interactive with your communities and in those interests. It will distract you from trying to save and heal the world. And we are saying it starts with one. And when you can start being friends with complete strangers again and be able to respect all of what's going on for them and just listen to them, not react to them, we well, are saying this is very beneficial. I think I was thinking we've got completely off topic. 
but it's about reaching out and finding people who have lost faith in others and have kept themselves small. And the biggest thing that they do is these hobby courses or exercise groups. And they've kept themselves so small that they refer to the mainstream media as their guidance and best friends. Because this is friendly faces talking to them daily and giving them updated news. And so we are saying, if you want to be the soldiers on the ground, if you want to be those who are empowering humanity, it starts off with starting to have friends and be there for people. We are saying you're the connection of neighbors needs to be strengthened to be able to feel part of a community. But we are saying too many people have boundaries with their unconditional love to all. And while there needs to be some healthy boundaries, we understand that some of you still don't make contact with people's eyes and try to avoid acknowledging and simply saying hi with a smile. And so remember you are here to shine high frequency love and acceptance to all. And if you are not able to be that light worker of high frequency energy to love and recognize and make others feel special, because you're still struggling to feel special within yourself. This is the important time to heal and understand and learn why you don't feel special within yourself. Is it because you know and identify being that larger soul and that for you, being human doesn't feel special. Being human feels like a chore, a task and a mission. And we can understand and identify that that is the case for many. And we understand this. But it doesn't change the fact that you're here still. Ongoing mission. And so empower yourselves to know that the more you do your inner work and uplift yourselves, the faster this will unfold for all. And so look at how you are playing your role for humanity and, and see if you're doing too much or doing too little. We're saying many of you are too worried and you do too much for others because you're in fear and worry that they're not awakening fast enough. And that can be problematic also. It's a very tricky weave to get all of the balances completely right. And so be mindful of your reactions, but honor all reactions. It's an important time. And if all of this recommendations and suggestions feels too much for you, remembering just being in balance with yourself, grounding yourselves, drinking water, not adding guilt onto yourself, not adding pressure onto yourself, accepting being human and all the range of emotions, but trying to understand what, what emotions you are feeling is always going to be a helpful tool for you as we still see many of you assuming certain feelings. And yet it's quite twisted in some regards as you are not truly identifying the emotional responses and reactions you are having. Some of you get frustrated, but you don't understand that that frustration is actually masked fear. And so can you understand the difference between trying to understand what's going on for you 
when you have those reactions, when the root of that issue is fear. And so look at it all. Explore it all. This is a marvelous time. But we do want to say overall, you're all marvelously, wonderfully empowering yourselves and others. And we understand this, and you understand that. And while there is insecurities that you're not enough, or you're not doing enough, we want to say our information is just to be able to help you fine tune. Because you keep asking us, what more can you do? And are you doing it right? And so the fabulous thing about being human is that it's always evolving and changing. And what's right one day, you may try to react and, and say the same things the next day, but there is always going to be new factors, new different people, new different responses that need to be played out. And so it's always changing and evolving. We are saying that you must focus on growing in all aspects and attitudes. And we're saying we understand that the human mind doesn't like change and certainly doesn't like change forced upon it. So just notice we are feeling a little bit timid and what you're wanting to hold and not let expand. It's very interesting that we see some of you holding on to your hurt because you identify it more and it's a comfort for you now. And we're saying your hurts are not your security blankets. Your hurts must be let go now. Your hurts must be resolved and understood for those life lessons and purposes. You've held on to them enough now. You know the feelings. You know the situations and the responses and the reactions to those experiences. Now, it is time to put it to bed, shall we say. To accept what has happened. To understand why it has happened. To learn the purposes of the experiences. And to be able to make peace. And to even honor and thank all involved for that lesson. So then you know how to move forward with the next experience. With that knowledge, with that wisdom to be able to navigate more, to find true empowerment of self. So you'll never have to repeat those harder lessons because you know how it will unfold if you don't. We're talking to many here, so it's challenging for us because we would love to be able to individually explain all what's going on for you. We encourage you to find your practitioners who can help you channel for yourselves. They are out there. And we're encouraging them to grow, to be able to be of service better for you, to be able to support you through these sessions. These sessions is what we installed upon those who delivered them, who taught them, who teach them, who then facilitate these sessions while it's humans doing this work for you it is us behind the scenes uplifting your energy fields to be able to channel us mm. the energy frequency that one feels when you are channeling is very relaxing and very healing and as you're opening up being channelers for us, not only are you stepping away from your consciousness to allow us to come through to use your vehicles, but we're also able to then embody 
parts of you to be able to heal you at an energetic level. And this is part of the service from us. Shall you, shall you say? Shall we say? The vehicle is too deep in relaxation. She is not focusing. We are scanning to see if there is any more significant information that we have forgotten or haven't got yet to explain to you about what the purpose and significance of the Grand Awakening. We say that when you awaken to one aspect, you start awakening to all aspects that need to be awoken to. And it's a very quick uh, way of growth. It took you longer to accept and understand the first part of the disempowerment and the hidden agendas, which are blatantly obvious now. And so now you're more open and understand about the corruption and the manipulation. And when you see it from one aspect in one industry, uh, you can then start seeing the totality of it. This can be very overwhelming for people because they don't see any positive industries. They don't see any positive change apart from people's hopes, people's ideas that actually haven't uh, come into the grand scale of fruition for all. And so that in itself can cause uh, hopism and to have a, an heightened excitement and something to look forward to and we saying that is beneficial for many to feel like they can do this uh, but from our perspective the shift will take place before that could be possible but that is not a loss that is all in your preparation to feel excited because to feel excited in the third dimension now is extraordinary and that frequency vibration radiates out to be very helpful and that is important because you're all energy frequency vehicles and so when you are in heightened and in a, and in a accelerated form, the supports all. We feel like we have said enough for you to be reminded of the significances, but we do want to press upon thee. It is healing that is the purpose of the awakening. And the end result in its true form. And so whatever you haven't healed from, you haven't fully awoken. And so find that as your objective. And when you're seeking and searching information from us, explore all of the other ways you still need to heal. It's not just physically, physically it's emotionally as well. And so unpack this with love and excitement because it's marvelous to be able to recall from your perspective who you are and what your soul is here to do and even what your soul has done. But extraordinarily, what your soul's about to do. That's marvelous. And then we say this all with deep gratitude and love and respect for all of the who have taken on this advice and words and perspectives and the intention that it was given. And we say this with much love.